So this is where we left off in the last video. We have three uh, models, a triangle, a plane and a cube. But now as you see, this cube exists in, uh, in a so-called world space. There is no projection applied to it, so um, the back side of the cube, so which are farther from the view, appear to be the same size as the front size. So in this video I'm going to create a so-called perspective projection. So the back side of the cube, as it rotates, will be a little bit smaller so it will it will look like it has a uh, depth so okay so for that from peer i'm going to import uh, matrix 44 with the lower case m and uh, vector 3 Okay, and in the vertex shader, I'm going to create another uniform matrix 4, and this will be the VP or the view projection matrix. And let's multiply the VP times the model times the vertices was vertex positions. So this is the model's local space. In the last video when we multiplied this with the model matrix, this putted this model into the world space. And in this video I'm going to set up this view projection matrix which will put uh, the from world space into into a so-called clipping space. Okay. Let me see. First of all, I'm going to here create a self dot size, and it will be equal to a tuple. And I'm going to copy these two values here and change this to self.size because I need to calculate the aspect ratio of the GL canvas so self.aspect ratio ratio will be equal to self.size uh, the zeroth element divided by self dot size and the first element. Or, so self dot size zero is eleven twenty, and self dot size one is six hundred and thirty. So eleven twenty divided by six hundred and thirty. Okay, so now here, here I'm going to set up first a view matrix. So view equals matrix 44 dot create, uh, create underscore from underscore translation yes and give it a vector 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 free I mean and this will be the view matrix so I'm going to put the view on x zero y zero and a little bit back so negative 2.0 and now set up a projection matrix projection 
function and this will be the matrix 44 that uh, create perspective projection matrix create perspective projection matrix the first value is the field of you field of view so i'm going to give it 45 degrees uh, the aspect ratio which we calculated above so sell that aspect ratio the near clipping plane uh, 0 0.1 and the far clipping plane so 100 okay now i'm going to create a vp so the view of projection so i'm going to multiply the view with the projection matrix uh, so matrix 44 that multiply multiply and the view and the projection okay the view with the projection and now get the location from the shader the location of uh, this uniform called VP okay so I'm gonna call it VP underscore location is uh, GL get uniform location from the shader oops and it's called VP so now that we have the uniforms location we need to upload to, the, to that uniform this matrix so GL uniform uniform matrix 4FV and uh, give it the first argument the VP location okay one matrix GL false okay and the VP so this So uh, this should this should work now. So let me see. Mm -hmm. Let me see. VP times the model times vector fourth positions. VP location, GL false, VP. What's the problem here? Okay, I, I have an error here for matrix 4FV. projection yeah okay I need to put it after the uh, use program shader so let me see it yes now it works so as you see, now the cube has depth as as it uh, the back side of the cube appears to be smaller as it rotates always than the front side. <laughs> 